Hi guys, uh, let's make a video about the Legion of Superheroes. Obviously, I'm going to be looking only at a handful of members uh, in this video, but I'll probably make uh, follow-up videos with uh, various members at different times, because as, this, as the name says, it's the Legion of Superheroes. There are so many members that there's no way to cover them all in, inside one video, or it would be like a five-hour video. So I'll probably make... Um, a bunch of uh, different videos uh, with uh, various members uh, as time goes by. So let's get started. So let's start with Lightning Lad, which essentially was one of the three founding members of the Legion of Superheroes. Uh, we can pretty much reproduce the, the original look of the character, although for the emblem I probably should have gone with... Uh, I should have added some black around around the emblem so that it can stand out a bit more because as you can see yellow against white it doesn't really work too well. Here we have what pretty much became his classic look uh, designed by the legendary Dave Cockrum I think. Uh, it's pretty much a look he, he had uh, pretty much through most of his history. There was quite there was quite a few variations at some point he had uh, white boots, at some point he had blue boots, at some point he had yellow boots. Uh, sometimes he had short sleeves, long sleeves, but overall he pretty much had that look uh, throughout most of his of his history with uh, slight variations here and there. Then we have uh, Cosmic Boy, which is another of the, f uh, the three founding members. And the third one is uh, Saturn Girl, which uh, sadly um, I don't have a female character that will allow me to reproduce her looks. Uh, for Cosmic Boy, it's a bit tricky because he has these like weird uh, yeah, r white circles on his suit that are pretty hard to reproduce in this universe online. So the best we can really do is try to reproduce more or less the pattern of this costume and the color palette. Uh, that, that's you, pretty much how you can try to distinguish uh, this look as being a Cosmic Boy. Uh, of course the color changed uh, through the years at some point. He was pretty pinkish. I guess he was supposed to be purple or light purple. But it often ended up uh, looking uh, pretty pink. But they did try to, to essentially make it even more purple at some point in time, or at some other point uh, they, they got rid of the purple completely, and it's, it's, yeah, it actually was his skin that was uh, showing off. Uh, and at some other point they, they went with uh, instead some sort of uh, dark blue instead. So they, they tried, they tried quite, a, quite a lot of variations with, uh, with this character. Uh, although it always had a similar pattern, a similar motif, uh, and I, there always was these like weird uh, white circles uh, that that are pretty much there in most of its incarnations. Uh, although there's uh, there's at least one time I can think of where essentially when he was showing a lot of skin, that's probably the one time when he didn't have the the white circles. So there's really no style that actually looks like what Cosmic Boy uh, actually uses, but there's a few styles like either the, the, the slimline suit or the, the T-slimline in this case that can sort of be used to mimic the, the pattern of the, the character. It's not exactly it, but it's it's close enough that uh, anyone who, who knows the character would look at that and say, oh yeah, this, this kind of looks like a Cosmic Boy. And obviously if you give the character a name like a Cosmic Man or a Cosmic something, uh, people will make uh, the connection no problem. So again, although there was uh, quite a few variations uh, through through the character's history, he pretty much had a consistent uh, pattern uh, through through pretty much most of his uh, of his history. Uh, the the biggest change probably was the, the color palette that was changed uh, as time went by. And again, depending on the era of the of the comics. Uh, It'll be either pink or dark purple or dark blue, depending on, on which time period uh, we're looking at. Then we have Wildfire. Uh, there's quite a few helmets that can be used to create a fairly good uh, representation of wildfire. I went with this one, but there, there's a few a few others that could be used. Uh, so and it's very very easy to get pretty close to the the actual look of the character. Uh, this is pretty much the the classic look that the character had through most of his history. But we're going to take a look at the, another look uh, that the character had at some point. 
At some point they gave him a, a more armor looking look, which was okay, I guess. Uh, it, it made him look almost like a, a robot or something. Uh, but he's not a robot, he's just a guy in a, in a containment suit. Uh, there were a few other variations to his look that uh, I couldn't reproduce. I essentially had another completely different look at some point, but there's no way I could, uh, I could reproduce that look with, uh, with the current styles. And there is Sunboy, who had pretty much a constant look uh, through most of his history. There were a few tweaks and a few variations. At some point he had spiky shoulders. At some point the shorts were colored uh, orange as opposed to being uh, yellow as they are now. But overall he had pretty much the, the same look through most of his history. There's one time where they gave him a, a different look. Actually they gave one of his clones a different look. But there's no way I could reproduce that, that different look uh, with the current styles. So that's pretty much it for our first look at the Legion of Superheroes. Uh, essentially, there, there's a huge roster of members, and uh, looking at all of them will require quite a few videos, so there, there's no way we can do it in, in just a single video. So once in a while, I'll try to get back to the Legion of Superheroes and, and uh, showcase a few, a few more members. Uh, sadly, in the comics, the Legion of Superheroes are pretty much, have pretty much disappeared, uh, thanks to the new 52. But uh, hopefully with Rebirth, uh, they'll make uh, some sort of comeback. I guess we'll have to wait and see. So that's pretty much it for now, guys. So thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys uh, next time. Bye-bye.